this painting is called Days of the Omer, and the verse that goes together with the painting comes from the end of Birkat Amazon, and it says that um, blessed is the man who trusts in Hashem, and then Hashem will be his security. During this period of the Omer that um, I was experiencing at the time, I was living in Ramat Beit Shemesh in one of the houses, and I was living just across an um, enormous field. And at the time I was training search and rescue dogs for the Israel Dog Unit. And so I was out in this field the whole time. And it was rainy weather, it was very muddy, and there would be the tractor treads in, in, the, in, in the mud. And there would be my own footprints pressing hard into this mud and getting stuck. And um, so these all became parts of the painting. And uh, here is like a, a its view of, um, of, 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 of the tractor treads, these giant tractor treads and the footprints. Uh, belonging to the man and um, so often in life we become stuck in the mud or well, things are difficult and heavy here the, the, the mud is actually pushing up and pressing up out of the ground and uh, things can be difficult and often we um, don't realize where our brocha is coming from and all we see our entire vision is eclipsed um, at times with all this effort this heavy effort and um, yet the broker is there um, it's there for us to appreciate and um, in this case it was in the field um, as I was walking with the dogs I, I watched them plant um, to sow all the barley seeds and I watched it grow and then straight after Pesach it was the Omer and um, they, they came with their tractors and they cut everything down and they created these enormous bales and bales of bales and um, it was ex very exciting to be able to quantify all this brocha that came from the ground and um, I was very inspired and wanted to represent that and um, I was convinced in this time period between Pesach and Shavuot which is a time period where we want to come closer to Hashem that my body would be going up towards the heavens and then I realized that that's not the source of brocha. Brocha doesn't come from the ground, it actually comes from above. There's these channels of brocha that come down and um, so I represented that in the painting. I split open the heavens and I represented it with the, with the body which I painted upside down as um, representing that brocha coming down and um, in the benching it says that um, uh, Hashem does things with chen v'chesed v'racham, with grace, with kindness and mercy. And it was, well, how do I represent that? How do I represent that visually? And um, I had a need for things to be transparent with delicate lighting. And um, so I painted the Bali uh, many times until I could get close to that feeling. And um, the man in the, the, the painting, he's wearing tzitzit. And even though he's very small in the painting, all the elements um, come towards him. He is actually the focal point and man is the focal point of creation and um, and how do we live this life even though we're so small how are we supposed to do that and that's through the mitzvahs which are represented by the tzitzit so there's a relationship between the tzitzit of the man and it says that Hashem is clothed in garments of light and um, so it can be understood that he's wearing tzitzit and um, so in in my heavens in this corner I created them um, Instead of a body, I created a spiritual um, set set coming down um, to communicate this kind of connection and this way in which Hashem has enabled and equipped the, the simple person to be wise. How do you live this life? You just follow the mitzvahs. And there was a simplicity and a beauty to that, um, which was amazing for me. And um, I represented it a little bit further in the, um, the tractor 
which is carrying these bales of hay. And there's a double metaphor in the actual image. Um, it shows the tefillin of the head and the rope creates the shadows which create the compartments um, of, of the tefillin. And um, that's just an extension of uh, the connection and how to connect um, with Hashem.